Greetings! Mari Smith, back in the house. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. Wowie zowie. So awesome possum. We have got a fabulous lesson for you today. A video tutorial coming to you live from sunny San Diego. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Wow, I have missed you. I have been offline for uh, three weeks <laughs> recovering from a virus. My goodness, that one knocked me out. But I am on the mend and doing well and super happy to be here with you. So um, let's see what I want to do first. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and right ahead and share my screen. That should come right up here. I put my camera here. This is the eCam Live app, so you can kind of move your camera wherever you want. I'll pop it right there for now. <laughs> so here we go. This is part two of three, uh, and we are talking about video distribution. Video. Um, the first part one video was video creation. Creating videos today is video distribution. And next week, I'm going to be talking about uh, video uh, amplification, increasing the, the reach. Well, today, a little bit of the reach in the, as well, but more uh, next week about ads. We really talk about ads and promoting the reach of your um, uh, video content to the right audience. Okay. But today I want to talk really about distribution, like where should you publish your videos? And I get these questions all the time, you know, with Facebook Live, should you download them? Should you repurpose them? What about YouTube? What about Twitter? What about Instagram? You know, all these other channels. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to pop my video over here just temporarily. And um, if you missed part one, you can go ahead and catch it. Actually, I just made it the featured video on my page. This is part one right here. And uh, oh, by the way, did you know, little sidebar here, do you see all these um, captions, right? So I, I that's going to be one of my tips later. I'm getting way ahead of myself. It's one of my slides about captions and different ways to add captions. And you're like, Mari, how did you get the blue captions on your, on your video? Uh, that's actually a setting unique to every user. Did you know that you, as a Facebook user, can change the caption settings? Now, that's only on your end, only how you're viewing them. It's in under your settings. You can go in here and go into your settings. Um, I forget where it is, but if we get time, I'll show you exactly how to do it later. Uh, and if I don't do it on this video, we'll, we'll catch up with you in the comments. But yeah, and it, it's only for your viewing, right? If you find the font's too small, you can change the font and uh, the size and the uh, color. So I just like mine in blue. Anyway, that is video number one right there, getting started with social video. And this series is brought to you by the lovely Wave Video app, a really cool app. We're going to do a quick recap here. So let's do this. My next slide, part two of three. Oh, I did put part two of three right there. And and I'll do that. And then I'm going to go to my eCam. And for the rest of this presentation, I'm just going to slip my camera up top like that. Yeah. Perfect. Coolio. Okay. So, ah, here we go. Thanks for being here. It's lovely to see you. If you've got questions at all, I'm looking over there at my other monitor and I can see your questions and comments coming in and thank you so much. Thanks. Yes, I'm definitely on the mend. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit part-time work this week and uh, uh, really, really happy to be on the healing path, feeling way, way better than I was two weeks ago. So thanks for your patience and thank you especially to Wave for uh, being so accommodating and understanding because that was, I could not have come on camera in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> barely get out of bed. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Part one recap. I wanted to just remind you of some of the crucial elements of doing your video for Facebook predominantly, but we'll also include Instagram because pretty much anything that you present on Facebook, present, upload, share your content, you want to be also keeping in mind Instagram because Facebook makes it so easy with being able to optimize the reach to the exact perfect audience that you want using the ads manager and you just leave selected the Instagram uh, placement. Now, obviously you might just advertise on Instagram. It's a different, different over there. You can only do 60 second videos for, for example. But in any case, Facebook really wants you to optimize for mobile because some 90% of Facebook users access on mobile, predominantly mobile devices. And of course, Instagram is only mobile. So what does that mean? It means you want to focus on Ideally, square videos, square are bigger. They take up a little bit more space in the newsfeed uh, or portrait. Okay, maybe you're doing some canvas ads 
or you're putting out portrait videos, you're doing some Facebook lives on your from your phone and you're doing them on portrait style. I did one yesterday, I tried out those uh, live stories. The jury's still out on me, on, for me, uh, on stories, especially on Facebook. But I know people love them on Instagram. Uh, also, Cheryl Sandberg on the last Facebook earnings call, she, she was really emphatic about encouraging short form snackable content. Snackable, like literally six seconds, six to 15 seconds. Now those are for ads. You obviously wouldn't be getting on and doing a Facebook live for 15 seconds. That would be silly. You, you can go and do your Facebook lives longer and you can also experiment with longer video. We'll talk about that in a, bin, in a minute here. But ideally, keeping in mind for just kind of those drip feeding, getting to know people, brand awareness, uh, building relationships, and getting just people more aware of your business. And then obviously calls to action, you know, um, and getting people to message you uh, and ultimately driving business. Sheryl Sandberg, Mark Zuckerberg are very emphatic about that point too, that Facebook has really kind of pivoted, if you will, with their drive to purchase ads insofar as it must drive business, okay? So all of the, any time you're going to invest money in Facebook ads, it has to ultimately give you an ROI. And I'm going to go much deeper into that in session three next week. For now, we're talking predominantly about distribution, where to put your videos, where, what different platforms to optimize them. Uh, over half of video content is viewed on mobile. Facebook TV is here. We're going to talk a little bit about Facebook Live today. And it's called Watch. If you haven't heard that, then uh, that might be news to you. But I think most people here have heard Facebook has their new television, if you will, uh, that they've been talking about for quite some time. And they said it was coming in the summer. And sure enough, it's here on mobile device, desktop, and their set-top um, you know, television app. So you can be streaming all kinds of shows. And they're... The, you can, if you have a show concept, you already have a show uh, in mind or you're doing it on another channel or you're doing it through Facebook Live, uh, you can apply to have your show uh, featured on watch or, or just placed in watch, okay? So that's just new. It's brand new as of like, what, two weeks ago? It's really exciting. So are you ready? As I say, because all that's where it's all going is everybody's going to be having their own show, I guess. <laughs> Not everybody, but you know, a lot of people. I really get excited about this part because I really feel that, you know, Facebook TV is where YouTube was maybe seven or eight years ago. And so they've got this kind of ground floor opportunity. It's really exciting. Now, because this series is brought to you by Wave Video App, I do want to remind you of what it looks like. Because when I talk about optimizing for mobile and doing Instagram and Square and Portrait, uh, I just love this app for being able to do that. This is a screenshot, I'll show you in a minute, the real live um, tool, the uh, a Wave uh, video app, and you'll see what this looks like. So there are actually, you go and you see this, you go, wait a minute, I could do landscape, square, mobile, that's portrait, two, two by three, you can see the wee icon there. Even a Facebook cover video, yay! We're gonna talk about that today as well. And then the standard four by three is your uh, landscape, but look at these three wee dots, oh my goodness. There's actually even more. There's an Instagram story. Nine by 16 is the dimensions there. Uh, to check out Wave, you can go after you're done watching this live. If you haven't already, take a peek at animatron.com slash Wave. Animatron is the company that made Wave. They're actually an animation tool. Uh, and then they also have this beautiful new app, Wave. Just came out this summer. Really, really good for agencies. They have this branding feature. Let's hop over there real quick. I'm just going to give you a quick reminder. We can come back to it if you have questions about it, but I have got a number of slides as well that I want to cover today. As I say, today's all about video distribution. So let's just see. I think my uh, camera is covering it up right here. Yeah, let me move it down just for a smidge there because you can see up at the top. Uh, I don't know if you can see oh, over here. You can see my cursor uh, where it says uh, I'm logged in, obviously. You can see my little icon and then it just says create video. Uh, and then the, there's also like a, a header video up here. This is created. This is actually, you know what? I mentioned this uh, three weeks ago in part one. I know, as I say, if you just joined us, uh, we, we got a bit behind with Mari healing up here. I'm doing well now. Um, but this beautiful video at the top is a Facebook cover video. Okay. So if I go back here, remember I said here, so FB cover. That is obviously for your Facebook page cover video, but you could also use the exact same video for the top of a website. It's really, really cool. So if I go in here and go create video, and it'll give you a super quick 
reminder and demo of all the power of what you can do in here. So today I thought, wouldn't it be fun? And actually I'm going to move my camera back up because I, I just going to put it up there like that at the very top because we should be okay now. Um, now then, <clears throat> Let's say I am going to be opening, because I'm doing this cleanse right now. I'm, I'm totally a vegan, about 80% raw, and choosing to be vegan right now while I'm cleansing and healing. So I thought, oh, I know. I'm going to show everybody how to do a, a little video. Pretend I'm going to be opening a juice bar. <laughs> so you've got two choices here. You can search inside of the Wave Video app, and you can select from 2.5 million royalty-free video clips, photos, and images. And you can upload your own, right? You've got my uploads right here. So you can upload your own. And then um, over here, so let's say I want to do, I'm just going to say something like, let's say fruit. Hit enter. Now, what kinds of lovely things? Ooh, I love all the choices they have in here. And as you hover over the video, you can actually see it moving, right? And so you'd say, oh, there's some strawberries being washed. That looks nice. Oh, here's a little cute little girl drinking her shake. That might be cute. That was appealing to kids. Ooh, there's a pastry. No, no pastries, Mari. <laughs> so let's just say this one. That looks fun. That was perfect for a juice bar. I'll get all that yummy fruit and veggies and whatever. So I'm going to go like this. It says loading mixed fruit. Do, 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 do. Slow. And then it's got a text across the top. Now, see how my tab is up here? And I'm going to go and click on square. I like to work with square. Those of you who follow my page, you'll see a lot of videos I'm doing lately are square. You can also go and uh, shorten or lengthen the video clip. See how it's 10 seconds automatically. I'm going to just drag that little guy like that. I can also move the video because obviously it's optimized um, for white and I'm just going to take a portion of it and then I'm going to click in here and I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see, juice bar and then I can add a little sub hex, uh, opening soon, something like that just for fun. Uh, let's see. Now these, by the way, these brand, these colors are already my brand. Uh, up the top right, ah, need to move my camera again because I know it's under there. Ha ha ha. Go like that. Just put it right there. Uh, I like to leave the camera on so you know I'm actually here. Because you say, Mari, just take it off. No, I need to leave it on. Yeah. Do you see up here? So it's got new brand. So I got my brand up here and you see my wee logo. You can add a new brand. You can go in here and manage brands. This is what I mean. It's cool for agencies. And I don't mean this to be a big, you know, uh, in-depth, you know, wave. It's all about wave, but uh, I love wave. And the series is brought to you by wave. And uh, last session was video creation. We covered all of this, but this, I know a lot of people did not catch part one. So I just wanted to do a quick review today and then we'll talk about distribution. I got a number of slides for you. Super cool. So see that set. Well, actually I didn't name it properly, but oh, well add new brand <laughs> and there I've got my fonts and my colors and your logos and you just go add new brand. And now you got all your different fonts in here and you got over 300. They are bringing, I believe they're bringing out the ability to add your own fonts. Actually, I know they are so 300 Google fonts there and uh super cool and then your color is really nice to be able to choose all these different colors hex by hex code or or just typing in green or whatever you want okay so uh let's go back to that uh go back to my edit so there was my juice bar opening soon uh also let's say with the video i do need to actually trim that i can go in here and i can just go to the trim and i actually want to move this because i want it to, i want the fruit to start right away because it looks like it's just kind of just Going like that. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. A little piece of that. Yeah. Trim. Ah, oh, that looks great. So, and then uh, I'm just going to start playing it. You can see it's going to go like that. Now, and you just go <laughs> to bar opening scene. And then I can continue on. I can add, let's say, like I say, I want this little girl in here. And you can mix it up with video, with clips. You can drag and drop these. You can uh, change the transitions. And then you can add your music. There are tons and tons of great music. Here's where you add your watermark. Uh, in this case, I'll go back to making sure I'm on my brand. And there's my logo. I'm going to hit use. And then my logo goes at uh, the top. You can place it wherever you want. You can drag and drop it wherever you want. So you got your logo as your watermark. Or it could just be a call to action. I got like a little URL transparent image here. Okay. And then you go publish. It's really, really cool. Oh my gosh. I just really enjoy this app. It's so good. It's so, so well done. We can come back to that. I want to make sure we get uh, further into the... Uh, presentation with the uh, slides that I've got here for you. Okay. So that's a reminder of what the power of what this really cool tool is. Oh, <clears throat> and just to be, <clears throat> excuse me, super clear, my friends. Um, 
the ability, what I did there was show you just square, but see all the tabs? You can, you are literally creating uh, six, right? One, two, three, four. You're simultaneously creating six versions of the same video, right? Now, each one you need to publish and download. So I would publish and download my square, and then I might go back in and say, oh God, this is so good. I want to make a Facebook cover of it. And I go in there and, and maybe make a few tweaks and add, add something else to it. And it's so easy to just kind of repurpose like that. So let's keep going on here. Do, 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 do. Video publishing tips. Now, um, always upload natively. And I think some people, maybe some, a few people out there are still somewhat confused about this. I don't know, but just, we've, we've got to set the record straight here. That means uploading video directly to Facebook. That's what natively means. It does not mean share a YouTube link or a Vimeo or a Wistia, whatever. We love, love, love those different platforms and they're great where they are, but Facebook will not give you as much reach, visibility, optimization if you're posting a YouTube video link versus if you're uploading the video natively. Now, obviously, if it's somebody else's video and it's on YouTube that and it's the, you can't find it on Facebook, then that is the only way to share it. You don't, 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 don't take other people's YouTube videos, scrape them off YouTube and then upload them to Facebook. That's a big no-no. They call that free booting. Tsk, tsk. That was happening like crazy, what, like two years ago and Facebook did finally do something about it. And they got those, um, you know, the rights, the rights manager and whatnot. Shorter is better for, especially for ads. I mentioned that earlier. Now, watch this though. Facebook says more people watch videos to completion that are 15 seconds or less. What? On part one, I showed you examples that Sheryl Sandberg mentioned on the Q2 earnings call from Tropicana, Tropicana, the juice company, right? And they showed, they compared, they did an uh, AB test and they did six second videos and 15 second videos and the six second ones performed better. You're like, oh my gosh, how do I get my message across in six seconds? Well, look at that little juice. I mean, that could, that video, that video, uh, you know, ultimately I would shorten this up a bit here. We put our call to action in there and there I got like a nine second video. You know, I probably shorten this one up a bit here. I don't know if you can see that way down the bottom. That says four and a half, four and a half. Let's make that even shorter. Do, 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 three. You remember three seconds is what counts as a view. And I usually like some action, some action happening immediately when I do a video. Don't do any transitions and slow, you know, builds or anything because people just don't have any attention today. <laughs> so, um, you know, like that, you know, I could, you know, there you go. I can get the message across fairly, fairly quickly. Uh oh, it's stuck. There it goes, you know, and obviously I'm going to say juice bar opening soon. I would I'd have something a bit more compelling than that, but, uh, it's amazing. You can tell your story. If you can tell your story or get, get a point across in uh, 15 seconds or less, people will watch it to the end. And then the magic secret sauce, my friends, which we will cover in depth next week is doing uh video view custom audiences. So you could now create, uh, a list. Now you won't know who the people are, but Facebook does. And, and you can place different content, different ads, different calls to action, we invite people to message you, drive people to a landing page, and you can do other custom audiences over there with the pixel, but you can go into your ads manager and say, Hey, Facebook, I would like to reach people who watched 90% of this 15 second video or maybe more, you know, you could do, you know, 50% of a four minute video. That's a huge captive audience. Now, the, again, we're talking about native uploads. Um, you want to, uh, use the Facebook publishing tools, uh, if you want, or you can just go straight to the publisher and you can schedule. And then there's also cross posts. Some of you here might be familiar with cross posts. That just means the ability to reuse videos and multiple posts on your page. I put slash pages. That is pages that you, um, are admin of uh, inside business manager. Now let's just go real quick here. If I go, uh, what do I have here? This is my videos. Yeah. If I just go publishing tools, this is what I mean. Uh, you can come in here and you got your video section, of course, right? So you get your whole video library and then you got videos you can cross post. Um, and then you can just create, you could create a post right from here. And if you upload the video and then it could be actually uh, saved as a draft or scheduled. Uh, right from in here. My preference, quite frankly, I don't use publish uh, the publishing tools that often for the video part of it. Uh, I just come right in here and I, and I go share a photo or video right there, right? Upload photos. 
You also got, you know, your carousel right here too. That's saying photo though, photo. If you go in and do carousel ads, again, for next week, talking really about the ad component of it, you can do a combination of square photos and videos for your carousel. I believe it's up to 10. I think they keep changing it. You know what? I counted the other week there. I saw a carousel Amazon ad and I think it had 33 cards on it. What? <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. Hey, I'll pop back on camera. If you just joined us, hello, greetings, welcome. It is lovely to see you all. Mari Smith coming to you here live from sunny. As you can see out my window there, it's lovely and sunny today. Really a delight to be back in the saddle here. Uh, somewhat part-time this week, but uh, I'm feeling so much better and uh, it's a delight to be here with you. Got questions? Pop them below. Happy to answer. If I don't get to them while we're live, I'll circle back and do them uh, in the comments. Keep going here because we've got a number of more slides for you. This is fun, fun stuff. Hey, and by the way, if you saw, you see my little looping video down here, I made that in Wave. I, I did one similar for part one. And it's just, I love the ladies' blue, Facebook blue uh, uh, nail polish. <laughs> and so just a really simple, short looping video that just adds a little visual interest and movement to your slides. Fun stuff for any speakers out there. Keep moving here. So Facebook Live, let's talk about Facebook Live. Big, hot, hot, hot topic. My goodness, right? Especially now with the watch, the, the new watch. And, and people are thinking about perhaps having their own TV program on Facebook. So some of the tools, decisions when you're going Facebook Live. I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole, you know, thought process and marketing uh, sequence that needs to go into your Facebook Live. You can just dive in and get get started, obviously. But really, for you know, serious businesses out there are looking to monetize Facebook Live. A little bit more prep definitely makes a difference. Uh, I do have a course coming up. We can talk about that at the end. I'll pop a link into the comments. But uh, I've been promising a Facebook Live course and a Facebook Ads combo course for quite some time. Really excited about that. So anyway, you're going to decide. All right, am I going live by mobile or desktop? right? Start there. Two choices. Mobile, you're going to have more options in terms of filters, masks. Do you really need those for business? I don't know. They're fun. I did one yesterday, like I said, I did a, a live story and I also chose to broadcast on my personal profile at the same time. And uh, some of my friends there are saying they, they love to use the filters and masks and they're fun. They're entertaining. They're entertaining. You might think they're very juvenile. They're only for kids, but you know what? People love to be entertained. Make people laugh. You will draw them in, you know, you really will. But that's all only available in mobile. You can't do masks as far as I know. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. There might be ways that people are doing masks through third party apps, but right now Facebook has them just on mobile. Also, you can invite viewers to join. Uh, invite viewers to join. You've probably seen that. Those of you who are doing Facebook live on mobile. If you start portrait, it comes in picture in picture like FaceTime, little wee picture there. It's kind of funny. If you start landscape, uh, it looks much better if you're going to invite uh, your viewers to join you one, one at a time and then it's side by side. Um, you got the new live stories for personal profiles. At the moment, uh, it disappears. The moment you're finished broadcasting on a live story, it disappears, but you have the option to also broadcast on your profile and then it's saved there. Now then, let's look at desktop. This is Facebook. This is broadcasting on, uh, it's quite limited what you can do. Uh, I've heard, I haven't tried, no, I haven't maybe tried it one time. I prefer the third party apps, but um, it's, it, it, you can't always select cameras. Like I'm clearly, I'm using an external camera here today. I, I know it's a Sony A6000. For those of you interested, I had to have other little gizmos hooked up to a black magic box and all kinds of things <laughs> to make sure it works with my Mac. Um, but otherwise, you, you can go live from your desktop. Uh, let's talk third-party app. So you've got my favorite, BeLive.TV. I have lots of favorites, but BeLive TV has a unique place in the market because they do um, interview style, so just side by side, or you can do a talk show where you can have people like in the lobby waiting. I believe it's up to 10 people waiting in the lobby and you can bring people on um, to a time. You can share your desktop. And one of my favorite features is you can ask people are live commenting. You can actually put their comments up on the screen. You've probably seen it done before. Uh, it's really, really cool. I love that feature. 
Um, and they're just a great company, a great brand, really, really great culture and good support. Blue Jeans, I love these guys. They do uh, multi-person, so up to 50 people on webcam with nine on display at any one time. I use them all the time for my private groups. I love doing uh, these uh, like on-camera video masterminds and meetings. We use that in my inner circle and it's a really great platform. And what I'm using today is Ecamm Live and that in a moment, one of my slides coming up, we're going to talk, in, we're going to talk about how to do pre-recorded video okay so like you might go and use the wave video app make a great video and you're like oh my god i want to put this on facebook which you can just upload natively right but then you're like you know i want to do this as a facebook live video how do people do that i've seen them do it all the time and you know what i'm going to show you because i've got some slides coming up but one of the ways would be ecamm live actually you can do it through blue jeans too you could pre-upload uh, video and then Wirecast is kind of the granddaddy. You've also got Livestream, Livestream.com, but Wirecast is really the top choice of a lot of professional. You see a lot of professional high-end streams out there where they're doing B-roll and they're switching up and they're bringing guests in through Skype or Zoom. And uh, it's, it's more than likely all done through Wirecast or Livestream, but most likely on uh, Facebook right now, uh, Wirecast. So great company, that's Telestream. Uh, let's see. With that, I think I'll do this real quick because I'm just going to show you. Oh my God, Luke, I love it when we discover new features while we're live. Have you guys seen that before? If you go to somebody's page right next to the video, it's got a wee live thing. Crikey, mate. I might have to screenshot that. How cool is that? I got my snag. It's closed right now. I just have to do it uh, with that. I'll just do it there. Also, you got to take screenshots of when new things happen. <laughs> Let me zoom up a bit for you. I'm going to go into my videos. Live. Woo. Yeah, that's, I mean, it I didn't know it does that. So it automatically puts, when you are live, it automatically puts your current live video as the featured video. And then as soon as you're done, it will go back to whatever featured video you had before. Hi, friends. Hey, thanks all in. Hee hee hee. Hi, Sasha and Barbara and Dave. Uh, you guys are awesome. And then it's like live there. It's like Facebook's like, come on, everybody watch. There's something happening here. It's live. <laughs> For those of you who are not familiar, what I'm doing right here is, uh, there you go. So I can see this one here and I'm going to bring this up. We'll mute the volume. Uh, this uh, is, is um, be live. And there, that's what I mean. See? Oh, then so I've got my lower thirds there. I should take that. It's called a frame. Uh, be live calls it a frame. So you can take the frame off like that. I love that. That's a really cool feature that BeLive.tv has. And, and people love to see themselves up in lights like that. They really do. Um, and then I wanted to show you a couple other things. Oh, and I had one with guests that I want to show you right quick if you haven't. I'm sure most everybody's seen these before. Oh, this one right here. That was quite... I'm sure that's muted. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. There you go. So this is BeLive. That's me bringing Barb on side by side. And then later oh yeah if you have a really big comment it kind of goes <laughs> you have to look over the top of it <laughs> here's my buddy dave david and luria they're live streaming pros and then we have there's three you can do you lots of different layouts so just thinking about oh my gosh you know what i got an idea to do interviews and to do you know um talk shows and things like that right there you go like that so on and so forth so many of you've seen that already and then um yeah, I think that's it. I mean, that's it. There's another one there. Oh, Dave, see, there's you. That was me. This is the first time I ever saw a picture in picture. I was actually in Perth, Scotland. I was sitting there with my friend Chloe. You see how the picture in picture works? There's Fiona Clark. She's over the top of my face. <laughs> uh, and I know, Dave, we had you in there too. So I think if you're going to bring guests on, it's just better to do it. Um, this, that's on mobile, mobile only. When you're doing the up here, as I was talking about, mobile uh, Facebook Live, okay? Moving along, broadcasting videos to live. Now, that's what I was talking about. Let's say you make a great video using Wave Video App. Well, I know there's a lot of different tools out there. Uh, and, and today, this is brought to you by Wave. We're talking about Wave, which is one of my favorite apps. You can make six different formats at the same time. Super cool, super cool, love it. And uh, it would be really easy to make a video and broadcast it using Ecamm Live, like I say, or because uh, you you basically are broadcasting from your desktop. That's what Ecamm Live is. It sits on your desktop. Create great videos first. Edit them as you wish. Now, and we're also going to talk in a moment about repurposing, okay? So uh, how to actually take uh, your lives or, you know, video you've done already and how you can kind of chop them up a bit, repurpose them, and then broadcast them as live as well if you wanted to. 
uh, check out we video app, of course. And then what you do to br this is if this is you just to clarify, this is you doing a Facebook live. Obviously here I am in the flash broadcasting live right now, but let's say I had made a video tutorial. Let's say this was something I already did earlier and I had recorded it and then I just broadcast it as live. So you can do that. I got a few comments and tips for you on that because it's a fine balance, isn't it? Because one of my, it's about relationships, right? And being authentic and being um, transparent and real and all those wonderful words. And there's nothing worse than people going, is this live? And then they end up like, they're asking you a question and you don't even notice. And by the way, if you are asking me questions, I know there's a lot of people here and I will get to them. <laughs> um, uh, upload to third party Facebook live tool. So like Ecamm live or Wirecast or Blue Jeans. So what you're doing is you're bringing the video into that app and then broadcasting from there. If you've ever tried to broadcast a video and, and just hoping that the sound would come through from your desktop, that, that just doesn't work as well. These are screenshots from Ecamm live. It's a great, great tool. That's just what the dashboard looks. This is what I'm looking at right here is a super clean, clean little app. It's so cool. So cool. So this is what I actually call, this is what I call full live, full live or real live. Now, many of you've probably seen those live. Let me come back on camera just, for, just to change it up for a minute. Have you seen those lives, right? They, they kind of did the rounds where somebody out there figured out how to hack the system and, and you know, they would be live. They'd either do a continuous live or they'd be live for like, I think it's two and a half hours is the max, but I've seen some people do it for four hours. I don't know how they do it. Um, but there is, you can do the, the, the streaming one, um, continuous, it's called continuous, which doesn't get recorded. As soon as you stop, it stops. But uh, you've seen those ones where you have to vote, right? And you do like a, you know, the heart emoji or the angry face, you know, which or the like, which one do you like? Now, Facebook, after a while of those going crazy, finally, you know, stop those, the full lives as they call them. But there is a place for real, they're not fake, they're a real live, but it's a video. For example, let's go back to my slides and I'll talk about what I mean. Where should you be transparent? Hey, I recorded this earlier. It depends on the purpose. Think about it. Celebrities, Oprah, Ellen. I know I've seen Oprah for sure and other different celebrities. You see they're live now and you go and look and you like that was produced in a television studio. It was already aired, you know, on maybe um, Oprah's network or something, the own network. Uh, and now they're repurposing it by broadcasting it live. And that's like, you don't ever sit there and go, wait, Oprah, you're not live right now. You would just be going, oh, of course, duh. This is, this is a show they've already ran and now it's running live on Facebook Live and that's okay. So here's some of my own personal suggestions because we're still kind of in the learning stages of Facebook Live and using pre-recorded videos. So I think that if you let your audience know that you're live in the comments, I've done that before, experimented with one time, I actually put in the description, hey friends, here's a presentation I did earlier, love to share it with you live, and I'm live with you right here in the comments uh, and, and answering questions. Or maybe it makes sense for you to say in the description previously recorded. I don't know, because here's the thing. As soon as that video ends, right, you've played the video and it's whether it's, you know, 15 minutes or it's a whole hour, um, it doesn't make sense to then say previously recorded because as soon as it ends, it's obviously a Facebook live is then recorded. My personal favorite though, is this a combo of you live and recorded video. So that's going to be much more television quality right? Because you know, when you're watching TV or the news or whatever, they always bring in the B-roll and that's how you can make beautiful videos and bring them into your lives and uh, broadcast. And I just realized I don't have an example loaded up for you today. I should have totally had that ready for you and going, this is what I mean. <laughs> but I got my slides so that's what we're working through here today. And we've got a few examples. I got a bit more to go. Here we go. Optimizing reach. When you're finished your lives, top tip for you, my friends, is to add captions. You do not necessarily, if you're broadcasting like for, you know, 40 minutes, an hour, whatever it might be, you don't have to caption the whole entire thing. But if you are doing something with a real strong purpose behind it, like I am with this three-part video series that brought to you by myself and Wave Video App, what I did, this is a screenshot down here at the bottom, 
the how to create engaging social videos. And, and I mentioned earlier, if you missed it, uh, the, the colored subtitles are actually something that you, every Facebook user has the ability to change your own caption font size and, and uh, colors. So they look big and blue to me, but to you, they're probably standard black unless you figured out how to change them too. <laughs> um, captions. You can automatically generate on Facebook. They're not that accurate, but it's sometimes the fastest, easiest way to just get in there and you can type in yourself. Or what I'm doing with this series that uh, Wave Video App and I are doing is we just, uh, what I do is as soon as I'm done, I download the video or actually with this cool Ecamm Live app, by the way, you can do a local recording. You can do a local HD recording. And then I just load that up to YouTube. And that's another slide coming up in a minute. People ask me all the time, should I put my Facebook Live videos on YouTube? And, um, then once it's on YouTube, you just go over to ramp.com and they're, um, I think they're a dollar a minute for transcription, right? So it's totally worth it because then you're going to get more reach. And again, like I said, it depends on the purpose. You don't need captions on every single Facebook live once it's done, but I do like to do it in the first few minutes. If it's a longer one, you want a compelling title in the first line, especially if you're going to be budget behind it, which we'll talk about in depth next week. And, and you, cause you can go in and edit that after the fact is what I mean. Choose a great thumbnail or you can upload one. And next week we're going to talk about the Mari method, exactly how to really very uh, intelligently allocate your advertising budget to get maximum amplification, reach, mileage, conversions, clicks, everything, uh, leads from your videos. So we'll do that next week. Video three coming up next week. Now then repurposing video for other platforms. Should you upload your Facebook live videos to YouTube? The jury is out among so many professionals and experts in the social media industry out there. You got to do what's right for you. Frankly, personally, I think a big part of it really kind of probably depends how you utilize your YouTube channel. For me, I'm not that active. My, my, obviously my platform of choice is Facebook and, but I have no problem with uploading Facebook lives to YouTube. And I do that quite regularly. Why not? You get more SEO, you get other people that maybe don't, you know, hadn't come across you before. So, so I say, why not? It could, if you wanted to, you could be an edited version. And now though, what about Instagram? Well, you definitely, if you're going to put videos, repurpose video, it does need to be, well, you can do landscape video. I can you do portrait on Instagram. I should totally know that. I don't think, well, maybe you can but it's landscape. They do accommodate landscape, but people still like square over there and square is performing best on both Facebook and Instagram. It does have to be under 60 seconds. You might also repurpose for Twitter. You know, you can do max 140 seconds. It's two minutes and 20 seconds, but Twitter actually have, uh, some stats and, and, and facts out there that again, shorter performs better. They have more video views to completion when it's 15 seconds, 15, you could do up to 30 seconds if you want. And maybe you're going to make a montage, right? So maybe like using the, the way video app, you could actually easily show, you remember how I showed you in here, I went to this video and uh, let me click on edit or here. And then I went to trim. So you could take that video and you just trim it here. And then I could add it again into another block, go to my uploads and say something I've uploaded. And then, um, I trim another section of it. So you could actually, you could use, uh, the wave app as, as an uh, editor in that regard, super easy. We'll just drag and drop, or you have an, might have an editor of your choice already on your desktop, but that's a fun way to do it. Now, why not? This is what I think about when you're doing a whole full on marketing campaign and you're doing a big drive for, um, a lead generation or a new launch, or a new product, a new service, driving people to your store. You want to maximize all your efforts. Okay. It's not one and done. You just like create one video, just put on Facebook. Oh, well, check the box. Okay. On to the next project, really mapping it out and thinking it through about how you can optimize all these different channels and make different ideal format size videos and get better reach and visibility. One more element is your own blog and website. I love embedding videos. I embed videos in pretty much every post I do. Every blog post, I embed videos from Facebook, from Instagram, uh, sometimes Twitter, but more, more YouTube It's mostly Facebook, Facebook embedded videos. Um, and, and this actually will help you get a few more views, a few more views that it might even amplify your reach a little bit uh, when you embed your Facebook videos. And, then uh, you could also drive traffic from other sources to specific videos. Super quick. If you don't know how to do that, it's real, real easy. Every single one of you just go into your videos. Every, as I hover over these titles, every one of them has its own unique URL. That's, you can do it in there. 
So I'd go like this, I might go like that, copy link address, and then maybe I'm going to shorten it and I'll put it into Bitly or um, Hootsuite and I, and I put it over onto Twitter. Okay, you can shorten it so you can track the clicks, but uh, Twitter doesn't count the links anymore, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's on the video tab. Alternatively, you obviously can just go in and grab the timestamp. If I just go down here, Facebook's so slow to load these days. Here's the video we're doing right here. You can even even embed a live video when you schedule right Ecamm Live and Be Live and Wirecast. It'll make it really easy to schedule, and then that. You can take the URL of that. Now I can go copy this address and, and I could tweet that out. Actually, I put it in my newsletter yesterday. I mentioned uh, that I'm going live and I gave people this link address so then they could come. Um, but And here, if I go in here, I'm pretty sure, can I embed? Yeah, see, I can even embed it. I could actually embed. The exact same settings will be here when I'm finished this video, but you, so that's how you embed. You get the embed code. And I usually like to include the full post. That means the narrative, this part here. I like to include that because sometimes the videos will always make sense without a bit of description. And then you just grab that code, you drop it into your uh, website. Super easy to do, or your blog post. Uh, and you also, then I showed you include video. Now videos don't play inside of emails. Um, unless it's a YouTube video playing inside of Gmail, but you can do the video thumbnails really clever. I see a lot of clever marketers doing that where they'll have, you know, uh, it looks like a video uh, play button with even with the play icon on it and you go to click it and obviously it's going to take you out of your email program and somewhere else. Usually I like to drive people to Facebook videos and there I put a wee screenshot of that there. I will give you the slides too, by the way, my friends. I'll, put, I'll include that. Now, uh, Facebook cover videos, we took talk about that already and uh, super, super cool and easy to do. Uh, if I go back over here and I'll show you the Facebook cover, see that automatically, beautiful. Uh, actually, let me go back to my watermarks. I'm actually going to take that one off. Well, uh, actually just can do it right there. Let me move that and say I want it up here. Don't really want to put anything at the bottom, although Facebook's making it easier now this one that needs uh, music. Beautiful. That's cool. Oh yeah. She's drinking her juice. And I think, okay, now this wee girl, I want her moved up a bit. You just grab the video. Oops. I need to be an edit. And I'll like go like that. There we go. I need to see a bit more of the juice. Fun stuff. And I got my little sign block. I want to move that over a bit. Put my logo in. So whatever. Sign up now wouldn't be like, might be like, come on in for a free juice. <laughs> so uh, I got a few examples of, of great, great um, Facebook cover videos for you. So you can include your own clips or stock. Maybe you showcase your work, make it appealing and enticing, have spotlight customers, meet the team who works with you and for you. Great, great ideas. You could, if you wanted to repurpose your Facebook cover video, you could put it over to YouTube if you want. It's gonna be slightly different dimensions, isn't it? Or Twitter, you can take a screenshot of it and input on uh, your Twitter header, or you can just load the video to Twitter. Why not? And say, well, we just loaded a new Facebook cover, embed in a blog post. Uh, let's look at a few examples. So over here, your Facebook cover video could be something as simple as some all. This is just, this is really cute. They got their wee icon peeking out from behind. It's just a little animation with their button. I mean, their logo. How long is this? Oh, too funny. It's actually, it's actually uh, almost a minute, but it's 48 seconds and it just loops away. Uh, I love these guys, this end lapse. I was scoping around for some examples. There's not, if you guys have example cover images, pop them in the comments below. Either yourself or some really cool cover image that you've seen, cover video, excuse me, cover video uh, that you've seen that you really think is awesome. Let me know about it. And so I was doing some research. This one is awesome. This is actually end lapse. I think it's actually a, a time lapse tool or camera. And uh, they're showcasing beautifully, right? This guy's doing some beautiful uh, art, wall art. I was going to say graffiti, but it's, it's beyond graffiti, it's stunning. So that, uh, Flixel, I love these guys. They have a beautiful app that does the cinematographs where it's only a portion of the video is moving. If you want to really see some of their cool stuff, you go into, I think they have a playlist. Yeah, they've got uh, 10 videos under their cover videos. They're, they're changing theirs up a lot. These guys are on the ball and they actually even have this great blog post uh, with some of the dimensions. You guys might be asking about the dimensions. Their Facebook recommends 820 by 312 
and the autoplay and auto loop. You have to be minimum 20 seconds um, and 90 seconds max. And uh, obviously I got my own video, cover image, cover video, I mean, keep calling it get image. Hey, round, did you see that? Circular, circular um, profile pictures are coming. Circular, circular profile pictures for both pages and profiles. Coming, coming, coming. All right, summary. Upload natively to Facebook, everybody knows that. But just in case you didn't, you're like, oh my God, I got this great YouTube video and I just love it and I've shared it on Facebook and nobody's seeing it. Why is Facebook not giving me any reach for this YouTube video? It's because, first of all, Facebook doesn't get much reach at all on pages, like between one and maybe 6%, unless you've just got some ninja trick that you do. I get a little bit more than that, but it just depends. There's a lot of factors that go into it. If you spend a little bit of money, even a little bit of money on ads, which we'll talk about in depth next week, on part three, then you will find that your organic reach goes up. And you wanna optimize both recorded and live experiment. I'm really excited to see some of the, some of the video content that you produce. Um, if you've already tried out the Wave video app, let me know, put a link to some of the videos you're creating. Uh, super easy to use, really good stuff. I'm using a lot of Square, as you know, on my page because it's just, uh, it's getting better reach. Um, and optimize, maybe broadcast live. Repurpose your video content. Don't be afraid to load it to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Repurpose, chop it up, embed on your website. And uh, it's kind of almost saying the same thing about just maximizing your reach with multiple uses. Use a cross-posting feature, you know, and, and post across different pages, different times. Uh, Reshare a video that did really well a while ago. If it's still timely, if it's evergreen, you can totally do that, no problem at all. If you reshare it, then it'll be aggregated count on the video views and metrics, but if you upload it again, it'll be different. Alrighty, so this is a video training series brought to you by the Wave Video app. Uh, when we did part one, I keep wanting to say last week, but I've been in a time warp. It was actually three weeks ago while I was recovering and healing, and I'm doing so much better now. Um, getting started with video creation, we did a wonderful video there. You can see that. Uh, and Wave is gonna put all three of these uh, videos onto a special page that you guys can access real easy and with the slides and everything. Today, that's so what we talk about distribution. Once you've created your beautiful videos, you wanna distribute them. Hopefully you picked up some ideas here today. Max will reach and visibility. And then next week, same time, same place, Thursday, what is the date? August 24th, exactly one week today, same time. And I'll put up another um, notification, I mean a uh, schedule. Uh, but you can also sign up for notifications for when I go live. Um, you hover over the following button and then you go under notifications and then you just click all live posts. You can also get to it on mobile. Uh, you can see similar kind of process to get to it on mobile. And then you get notified. Okie dokie. And, and that's next week is optimization, how to amplify reach on Facebook, my ninja tricks. With that, my friends, I'm gonna come back off of a, a camera like that. And I would love to see if you guys have questions for me. I'm sure you do. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I always love being with my peeps and seeing how I can support you and help you to increase the success of your marketing efforts and do more with your business. So let's see, I'm going to just go like this. This is the easiest way for me to do this. Just click that, go like that. <clears throat> uh, let's see, so just kind of going from the top down, I'm gonna skim down here. Ha ha ha, Hanny, hello Hanny. He says repurposing is my middle name. I love it. High five, my friend. Lisa Bauer, hey, hey, you're saying, could you use live audio and recorded? Whoops, it jumped there. I'm so sorry, I didn't see it. Oh yeah, could you use live audio and recorded video without audio? Uh, live? No, no, if you're doing live audio, well, through a third party app, like if I took myself off camera using this app, Ecamm Live, you would still hear me. I can take myself off camera. I could do a whole presentation. You're right, I think that's what you're saying. But if through um, if you're using Facebook Live through the mobile app and you're doing audio, like I don't know if you know that, but you can, you can do live audio only through mobile, the Facebook native mobile app, you can't do any visuals. It's like, it's only you, it's only you. Uh, it's only your voice is what I should say. Um, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness. Pratina, you're asking if I have a discount code. Uh, uh, Wave, the Wave video app is a free. You can totally do a free trial with the Wave app. Highly recommend that Wave um, free trial. 
Tracy, you take your Facebook Live and you have an editor. You edit it for your podcast. Wonderful repurposing. Of course, I didn't even cover that, but that's brilliant, Tracy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Um, so what Tracy's saying is you can strip the audio. Now, also, I see my good friends, Mike Stelzner over there, the social media examiner, they're doing something similar. They're taking their Facebook lives, stripping the audio, and now they have another new, new, uh, podcast. Thank you, Rena. I appreciate it. Uh, what else do I have? Any other questions? Karen. Hi, Karen. CJ in the house. Do you have to have a specific level of an account on BeLive for having two people side by side for an interview? Uh, uh, no, the first level, they have three different levels, but uh, all three of them will do two people side by side. Yeah, yeah, great app. Oh, Lightstream. Thank you, Dean Hankey. I will have to check out Lightstream. Mary, Mary Rose, been mixing it up, video and audio. Nice. Uh-huh. Dean, you like Wirecast? Yeah, yeah, good. Uh huh. Teresa, third party app screen, please. I think, Teresa, you probably were uh, asking about um, eCam. Let me just do this real quick because, in case other folks are wondering, ecamm.com, that is, uh, these guys make the Skype recorder. Some folks might have it already. They make, they make them for a Mac. All their tools are for Macs only. I love their story. I think it's two brothers. Such nice people. They have a great culture and brand as well. Really supportive. Um, and then right at the top is your Ecamm Live for Facebook, just a one-time fee. It's like 30 bucks or something. So between Ecamm Live and Animatron Wave, you got all your video and your live and everything you could need. It's pretty cool. Cool, cool. Let's see. A couple more questions here and then we got a wrap. Oh, Sasha, you saw the live notice on the left for the first time. I think it's new. I have not seen that before, Yang. Oh, Dave. Yeah, thank you. So Wirecast, Dave Basalto, here's an iographer. Uh, he's a big time Wirecast user. And Wirecast A, I believe it's just, oh, I know I've been talking to Andrew and the team over there. Uh, uh, we'll be able to bring on guests. You can bring guests directly into Wirecast A. That's exciting. I, I'm a Wirecast user as well. I have a mall. <laughs> Karen, uh, you're asking, does BeLive require someone else to manage while you're live? Uh, no, no, no. You've got the whole tool right there. You could do it all yourself. Um, I mean, you could, you could, you could definitely have someone else manage it, especially if you have like a whole studio set up and you're not looking at the screen, you could totally have someone manage all that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Christopher. Oh, joy. Yeah. The mermaid princess. That was great. Hi, Kate. Yeah, I, I definitely am feeling a lot better. And Dave is asking for a discount code too. Um, but, uh, Kate, Kate works with uh, the wave, wave video app. Kate, uh, uh, and her whole team are just amazing. Um, but they're really, they're doing the free trial. I think you want to do the free trial first and then, uh, and see, see how you like it. Oh, Mary Rose, it, it, right now, Wave Video App is desktop only. And, and I must ask if they're, they're thinking about bringing out a, a mobile version. <laughs> Thanks for all your comments. If I missed anything here, I will circle back. Yeah. Yeah. Karen, uh, you're asking about BeLive. One more question here is, um, desktop only, but guests can come on by mobile. I don't think you can broadcast through mobile just yet. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, Vin, I'll, I'll put up a list of apps, you bet. I, I'm such a, an app. I'm, a, I'm a, a crazy app person here. I do love it. Um, Matisse, my secret for not having my DSLR camera shut off after 30 minutes while broadcasting is uh, I have it powered. I have, I have a, whatever you want to call it, a dummy battery that then goes into power. It's actually powered. Uh-huh. Yeah. You guys are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love you all. Go and check out the amazing Wave app and create some beautiful videos. Let me know. Post in the comments if you've done some videos. You see, I do a lot of, a lot of it. That was the one I showed a lot. I did that 30 day challenge of fitness one. I kind of like that juice bar one. I think I might have to open a juice bar. <laughs> it's so easy. See if I just hover over that. I can just hit copy. Let's say, well, that one worked really well. I hit copy. Maybe I'll swap out the video and it's like I got a new video in like under a minute. Gotta love that. So my friends, we will see you same time, same place next week for part three of this wonderful video series brought to you by the Wave video app and myself. And we're going to be talking about how to amplify and get the most out of Facebook ads for your video content. You guys are awesome. Have a blessed rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon. See you again soon. Ciao for now.